Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. My dear, welcome back. Now let's handle heat energy. Heat energy, as it implies, is a form of energy which flows due to temperature difference. By definition, it's an internal energy which can be transferred from a hot body to a cold body and at the same time causes change in temperature. Heat can be produced by the sun, which is solar heat. It can also be produced through friction. Example, do a little experiment for me now by rubbing your two palms together. As the speed increases, the temperature or the hotness of your hand also increases. Also by chemical reaction, like the one we see in chemistry, when you introduce a tetraozos of a 6 acid into a test tube of water. Effects of heat on matter. Heat can cause chemical change, change in physical property, change in temperature of the body, change of state of the body, change of state like moving from solid to liquid and liquid to gas. Expansion of the body is also an effect of heat. It can also cause change in pressure of the body and even thermionic emission and many others. Temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. It is measured with thermometer. In measuring temperature, a body is measured with an instrument called thermometer. There are various kinds of thermometer. Each makes use of different substances called thermometric substances, which change with change in temperature. Kinetic molecular theory states the following postulates as it is on the slide. Thermal expansion of solids and its application. One we have linear expansivity, which concentrate only on a parameter, which is length. We have area expansivity, which concentrate on two parameters, length and width. We have volume or cubic expansivity, which concentrates on three parameters, length, width, and depth. We can now handle them one one. Considering linear expansivity, considering linear expansivity, we can define it as the expansion or the expansion of a body in length per unit length per degree rise in temperature. For example, if I have a metal rule of length 10 cm and on heating it changes to 15 cm, the change there is 5 cm. Why the original length is 10 cm and the temperature that causes this change is the temperature change. So we'll say that linear expansivity is the change in length per unit length per degree rise in temperature. Mathematically, it is conventionally represented as alpha, which is equal to change in length per unit length and per degree rise in temperature. Delta theta is change in temperature. Delta L is change in length while L0 is the original length. This is the mathematical expression of linear expansivity. From here, we can make change in length the subject of the formula and get alpha L0 change in temperature. Now, if we want to separate change in length, which simply means final length minus original length, we have L minus L naught equal to alpha L naught delta theta. 
making L the subject of the formula. L naught will cross over the equality sign, so we have L to be equal to L naught plus alpha L naught delta theta. Taking it from that point, we have it that L will be equal to bringing out L naught as factorization. We have L naught bracket 1 plus alpha delta theta. This is the equation for final length, which in some textbooks they write it as L2 equal to L1 bracket 1 plus alpha delta theta. This is the expression for final length. In finding the xi unit of linear expansivity, change in length is in meters and also length is in meters so meter to meter can go what is remaining there is one all over change in temperature and since temperature is measured in kelvin we have the unit to be one over kelvin which means that the unit of linear expansivity is per kelvin we move over to area expansivity. In area expansivity, we'll say that area expansivity is the change in area per unit area per degree rise in temperature. Mathematically, it is conventionally represented as beta, which is equal to change in area all over original area times change in temperature. change in temperature bringing these forth we said beta is equal to change in area divided by original area and change in temperature similarly we can obtain delta area as beta a naught delta theta expanding further we have A2 or equal to beta A2 equal to beta A naught delta theta. Then the A that will be crossing over from here will have minus or plus A0. Factorizing we have a general formula we say that a2 will be equal to a naught bracket 1 plus b delta theta but my dear since area expansivity is interested in two parameters we say that beta is equal to 2 alpha so rewriting we have a2 to be equal to a naught bracket 1 plus 1 plus instead of beta we can replace with 2 alpha 2 alpha delta theta so some textbooks write a naught as a1 so we can still write a2 to be equal to a1 bracket a1 bracket 1 plus 2 alpha delta theta and that is the expression for final area considering the unit of area expansivity also from the formula meter square will go with meter square remaining only change in temperature so we said a2 in terms of unit 
is 1 over change in temperature, which is equal to in units we have 1 over Kelvin. That means A2 will be equal to the unit will be given to us as also per Kelvin. The same thing as linear expansivity. Now we'll move over to volume expansivity. Similarly, volume expansivity is given as the change in volume per unit volume per degree rise in temperature. Mathematically, it is given as gamma, which is equal to change in volume all over original volume times change in temperature. Now, considering this, we can as well go further to find all those our formulas as we did in linear and also area, where we'll now have V2 to be equal to V1 bracket 1 plus gamma delta theta.